Hi everyone. This is a work developed by me, Miguel Pedro, and Iago Santos, both members of the Federal Institute of Science, Education, and Technology of Rio de Janeiro. I will lead the presentation of the work Bounds, Practice, and Chemistry, Experience Reports, and Reflection on Potentialities of Teaching Learning Process of Chemical Technicians in the Midst of the COVID-19 Pandemic which is born from challenges awakened in the training of chemical technicians in the context of this pandemic. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic posed an unthinkable challenge to humanity as a whole, mainly to education. How to think about the training process of technicians in the field of chemistry, professionals so linked to laboratory practice in a context of lockdown? At this moment, it's opportune to confront this scenario with the principles of experimental education enunciated by John Dewey, since the principles and theory practice articulation are very clear in the training of professionals in the field of chemistry. So, how to do this from a distance? How to mitigate the effects of distance learning in the training of these professionals? More than that, and perhaps more essential, how to keep these students motivated? How to maintain the bounds between academic community members? This work does not intend to exhaust these issues, which are so deep and delicate for the teaching learning process nowadays, but rather to provide alternatives. As mentioned, this study proposed to be an experience report, accompanied by its intrinsic theoretical reflections on the pedagogical practice about an extracurricular training course for technicians in the field of chemistry during a COVID-19 pandemic. The course was conducted in the distance mode and focused on active teaching learning methodologies that focus on making learners subjects in the process, in contrast to traditional approaches that are based on knowledge transmission. In this way, the students have the power to construct the, con the knowledge. Among the strategies for conducting this process, is used in the course is mainly the game approach. With the games, we improve interaction, construction, and opportunity for welcoming in terms of expectation regarding future careers, the pandemic, and its own training process. Some of these are shown on these figures, such as chemical inventory in 3D simulation and laboratory safety quiz. In addition, many of the themes are suggested by the students, that is, the course syllabus was flexible depending on the needs of the student. Fifteen modules were offered in a period of 10 months as this table. The students behaved as subjects of the teaching learning process. They participated in the course of their own volition and without any text or exam, they remained in it. When the freedom to choose stems is aligned with the desired and previous skills needed for them, an engagement for autonomous learning is created. Proposing an educational process centered on student experience and autonomy, we had a transdisciplinary menu that could help the students to connect knowledge acquired separately and aggregated it in order to see reality in a broader and more complete way. We also believe that through active methodologies, the significant interaction between students and course teachers, the bonds were strengthened and that, despite the physical place of the school being a distant notion in such times, we could preserve the link with the symbolic space. To sum up, thanks for the COVID-19 pandemic, we have an unlikely scenario in education. Many of the control tools dissociated time became specialized, and the notion of place had another meaning. We could rethink education. A dialectical process by questioning the perspective of bounds, syllables, transdisciplinarity, and theoretical practical articulation had risen. The search for the answers to these questions led to fruitful reflections for both the face-to-face -face and virtual teaching-learning process. Thanks for the watching.